At the forward position, number one, Amy Sale. At guard, number 33, Avi Rogos. Number 22, Matthew Jetwall. And the point guard, number three, Jordan Abel. And now, the starting lineup for your Shaw Heaven Firehawks. All right, we well, yeah, just had a tip off here. Reamer's going to take up the ball. Hafter Hawks versus Shaw Havoc Firehawks. Thank you for tuning in. Here's Reamer going to pass it to Ben Ezra. Ben Ezra guarded by Rocos. Reamer pulls it from three, puts it up. Can't okay, connect, rebounded by Salem on that one. Jaime Salem, very versatile player. Uh, down low and in the perimeter. Here comes Olin. Olin is going to get to Jedwab. Jedwab passes Salem. Now to Rocos. Rocos, it's going to be stolen by Popsky, deflected by Ben Ezra. Popsky going to take it down court, going to get it to Reamer. Reamer drives in. Reamer, lay in, blocked. Salem's got the board on that one. He's going to get it to Ethan Oliner. A really Oliner. fast paced game here. A lot of fast breaks so far in the, during this game. Jedwab pulls up for the lay in. Rebounded by uh, Lazary. Lazary gets it to Ben Ezra. Ben Ezra going fast paced down court. Ben Ezra, Popsky. Popsky fakes a three. Gets it to Reamer. Reamer at the top of the key. Signals to slow it down a bit. He's going to call play here. Now, both of these teams won their last matchups. However, uh, they both have different opinions on how they did. Uh, Garrison, Garrison, step back three. Rebounded by Jedwab. Now, Shell Hevitt, um, who got a victory over Ramaz, not quite happy with their effort. Uh, they struggle a lot against the size of Ramaz's uh, front court. Uh, whereas uh, Hafter, uh, who just beat. And a great effort by Jacob and Ezra. And Popsky on the floor getting that jump ball. Okay, um, Hafter, uh, who just beat SAR, uh, much happier about their effort that they played in that game, beating uh, a team which a lot of uh, people viewed as a strong contender coming into this. Yeah, definitely, Jacob. I was talking to Coach Honig uh, from Hafter, and he was telling me, you know, he was never worried. He never had a doubt that they would win that game. They're up by 20 the entire game. SAR had a little bit of a comeback towards the end of the fourth quarter, uh, where they cut the lead down to five, actually. But according to Coach Honig, he was never worried. He always had faith in his guys. Yeah, it seems like we had a little issue right there with the score. Um, but it's like we're back right now. All right, and here's Appel. Appel's going to pass it to Ro Rocos. Back to Appel. Appel's going to call a play here. Both teams going slower than they did in their past games. Uh, here's Jedwab, guarded yeah. by Ben Ezra. Great matchup there. Now Olinor. Yeah, our, about the first minute or two of this game was a lot of just fast breaks. Now we slowed it a lot. And the shot clock is going to expire. And Reamer is signaling to the crowd to get more and more hype. The crowd goes wild. 0-0, zero to zero, 6.20 remaining in the first quarter. Yeah, it really seemed like Hafter wasn't really paying attention to the shot clock right there. Uh, definitely you know, a big mistake in this game. Reamer's going to take it down court. Again, we saw a lot of fast-paced offense from Charlotte Firehawks, but today it seems we're going a lot slower. Thinking about more plays and calling them. Here's Reamer now. Reamer gets a screen from Lazar. He's going to drive in. Popsky, Popsky, three ball. Air balls that one's going to be rebounded by Jawa, but stolen by Reamer. Reamer puts up the easy lay-in for the first points of the game. 
Yeah, Reamer was definitely the best player against Ramaz. Uh, his driving into the paint, making a lot of acrobatic layups, um, and just being the playmaker overall for the team uh, really led sh the Shava Firehawks to victory. Couldn't agree more, Jacob. Here's Matthew Jedwab. Jedwab gets it to Appel, gets it to Rokos, now to Appel. Appel guarded by uh, Ben Ezra, gets it to Olinur. Olinur passes out of bounds. The ball movement was a big problem for the Hafter Hawks at, towards the end of the game, you know? They had a lot of turnovers. I had a chance to talk to uh, Coach Honig about that. He says, you know, we really got to work on that. He, he thought they were just rusty coming in, but he thinks they should, they should be better this, uh, this game. Right, so far, uh, I think in the half court, we've seen a lot of rushed offense um, for the uh, Hafter Hawks. Reamer pulls it from the jumper, rebound Jedwab. Yeah, for the Hawks, it's really, so far, seemed like they haven't really been running that many plays, haven't gotten that many passes per possession, and we're getting some stagnation here. Let's see if they can improve their movement a little bit better. Now we got a pelt at the top of the key. Jed Jedwab was the leading scorer last game against SAR. He had 17 Rokos points. is blocked by Ben Ezra! That yeah, really ignites the crowd right there. As you can see, there's a large crowd uh, standing behind the basket in the new bleachers that were just installed for this tournament. We'll get more on that later. Here we have Jedwab to Appel, swings it to Olener, back to Appel. Appel calling his play back to Olener. A lot of ball movement on this possession. Now to Jedwab. Jedwab guarded by Pofsky. Olener pulls up from three. In and out. Rebound Ben Ezra on the fast break. Ben Ezra going fast pace down court. Ben Ezra pulls up for the jumper. Rebound Lazary, offensive rebound. It's going to be a jump ball though. Great effort on both sides of the court there. Yeah, Lazary's really been very effective so far on the boards. Um, he's, def he's the tallest player uh, on the court and really uh, can have a huge advantage on the offensive rebounds. Yeah, Jacob, I mean, height yesterday for the Hawks was definitely an issue. All five players on the Ramaz uh, team were over six feet. Yeah. And they struggled down there. A bad pass Ooh. by Reamer, Reamer will lead to a steal by Salem. I mean, Salem coming down the court now. Salem to Appel. He wasn't ready for that pass, but he gets it back anyway. Salem gets it back. Salem, three. Rebound Olener. Olener puts it back up and puts it back in. Great pump fake right there by Olener, trying to get two defenders off their feet, going up for the easy layup. Here's Reamer, Ben Ezra, Pofsky for the three. Bingo! Five to two. Now Pofsky's uh, three-point shot was a was really indicative of uh, the Firehawks' success last game. Um, he, during the beginning of the game and towards the end of the game, his shot wasn't quite dropping, um, and that signal, those moments were both uh, huge points of drought for the Firehawks. When he was on, though, they were, went on huge runs. Here's Appel now, Appel looking for a shot, passes to Jedwab. Jedwab, lay in, blocked by Ben Ezra! That's his second block of the game! Another block by Ben Ezra! He is hyping that crowd up! Crowd is moshing behind. Both refs are pointing them out. They're part of this field. they're part of this game, absolutely. Ben Ezra, two massive blocks right there, really igniting the crowd. Three blocks on the game, only in the, only in the first four minutes. For Ben Ezra, here's Olener, Olener to Appel. Now to Jedwab, Jedwab, gonna drive in. Jedwab, lay in, in and out, rebounded by Reamer. Yeah, Reamer's talking, gonna take it down himself. Talking more about Ben Ezra, really his athleticism has been able to be the the, the heart of this team. Um, you know, being able to play really well on defense, as you saw there with that block, also being able to get out in transition, and I'm sure, as you know, throw down some monstrous dunks. Yeah, Reamer uh, fouled on that play as he went to the lane. to go line to shoot too. Now, Jacob, we're seeing a great matchup today, which is Jacob Pofsky on Matthew Jedwab. Coach Coleman was telling me about that before, how he's going to start on Jedwab, but as the game progresses, they may move him around, and we'll see what happens. You know, Jedwab, obviously a very lethal player, had a chance to talk to him during the halftime of the last game, Shalva game. Very lethal player. Coleman going to do anything he can to try to uh, um, stop him. Reamer with a free throw, he's going to get that to go. going to be 6-2 to now. Avi Helpert will check into the game. And Zev Reamer will check out. We got Avi Halper, we got Uzi Mermelstein, and we got Max Wittner on the floor now. Halpert was great last game, had a nice buzzer beater at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for some, for a freshman playing uh, in, in his first game of the Globeman tournament, really looked like he was very poised um, and didn't really let the spotlight get to him. Here is Rokos now. Rokos guarded by Halpert. Now to Salem. Salem, one-handed pass, Jedwab. Jedwab drives in. Jedwab, lay in. Rebounded by Whitner. Whitner to Halpert. 3-10 yep. remaining in the first quarter. Looked like a better shot there, but just didn't go with the layup. Now Ben Ezra. Ben Ezra pulls it from three. Nice offensive rebound there. Whitner was able to deflect it, and Popsky got it. Now Halpert's going to drive in. Halpert laying. Nope. Pow to Mermelstein. Mermelstein pulls up. Bingo! Amazing play right there by Halpert. Looked like he was going to go up for the contested layup and then pulled up the acrobatic pass over to Mermelstein. Yeah, I mean, get the wide me, open three. You fooled me, Jacob. Yeah. 
Appel's got it now. He's going to get it to Rokos. Rokos. Now to Olander. Olander gets it to Jedwab. Jedwab can shut down this whole game. Jedwab pulls it for the floater. Gets it in. That's a That'll tough shot right there. Over a lot of length. He gets it to go. Here's Pofsky now. Pofsky can control the ball. Gets it to Benezra. Benezra the wide open three ball. Can't connect, but rebounded by Mermelstein. Mermelstein drives in. Mermelstein lay in, puts it in. He's got five points. Those are the first points of the tournament for him. Yeah, Mermelstein, also a freshman, really getting it to go there. Um, Mermelstein and Halpert have seemed like they're really uh, adapted to this, and you know they're ready for this this moment. Now we see Appel being guarded by Pofsky. Salem's got it now. Salem now to Rokos, back to Appel. A lot of ball in by the half dogs, and it's stolen by Max Whitner. He's going to hand it off to Izzy Mermelstein, who's going to slow it down a bit. Coleman, yeah, signaling it for them to slow it down, get a play call. Here's Ben Ezra, guarded by Salem. Ezra taking it up. Swings it to Pofsky, now to Halpert. Halpert looking for some space. Finds Whitner. Whitner almost travels, almost but gets it back yeah. to uh, Avi Halpert. Slowing it down a bit. Only 10 seconds on the shot clock left. Looking for someone, finds Ben Ezra. Ben Ezra, lay in, up and it's good. It's a nice shot right there. A lot of stagnation on that play. Couldn't get anything into the paint. Benezra just took it strong, got close to the hoop for the much better shot right there. 13 to 4, shot at Firehawks lead. Lead 120 remaining in this first quarter. Here comes Jedwab. Jedwab drives in. Jedwab lay in. Trying to take K control, but couldn't find success on that play. Here's Avi Halpert. He's going to take it down the court. Halpert. Now remember, we'll see a bad pass. Will lead to Jedwab deflecting the ball out of bounds. Shove it, will retain possession. Yeah, right there we see Benezra checking out. Uh, really nice start for him so far. Um, able to get uh, three blocks, actually, which is incredible. And um, then also get into the paint for two uh, nice shots. Here we got Mermelstein on Popsky. All right, Popsky to Mermelstein. Mermelstein, Reamer, three, puts it in! 16 to four, strong start for the Firehawks. Yeah, Reamer's outside, outside shot wasn't quite dropping as much last game, but if he can get it going here, he really has the whole package. There's Appel now with the ball. Jordan Appel passes to Jedwab. Out to Salem, Salem with three ball. Rebounded by Pofsky, he's gonna take it down court. Pofsky going down court, gets it to Reamer. Reamer looks to shoot another three, but slows it down a bit. They're gonna take the rest of the time on the clock. Reamer passes it to Mermelstein. Mermelstein to transfer from Valley Tora. Gets it to Halper. Halper back to Reamer. 15 seconds remaining in this first quarter. They're gonna wait to take the last shot. Reamer heavily guarded by Appel. Signaling for Whitner for the screen. He gets it. Reamer trying to pull up. Looking for a shot here. Puts up a layup. It's not going to connect on that one. And Jedwab is going to let the time expire on the first quarter. But a strong start for the Shalhavet Firehawks. Absolutely. With a 16-4 lead, really got out strong. We're able to get into transition and get some really open shots. Um, as we saw there, a lot of really great play um, by new players on the team, um, namely Mermelstein and Halpert, really able to uh, you know get their role going uh, and be able to get out there. Yeah, Mermelstein, shining star so far today. You know, we, we didn't see him do a lot yesterday. He was a very limited um, his playing, but today already five points. He had a very nice three um, over the over the over the Hafter player and then another lay in. Yeah, definitely not the start though for Hafter that I'm sure they would have wanted. Yeah. Um, Really not able to get much going on offense. Uh, to be fair, she'll have it is a very great defensive team um, with Ben Ezra anchoring them. But uh, we'll see if they can get anything uh, going here. Something I would say is uh, trying to get more into the paint um, and get some open shots there. They haven't, and also uh, trying to get some more passing. They've had a lot of stagnation on their plays and had to take some really difficult shots so far. Yeah, and keep in mind, guys, that today, uh, Jacob Steinmetz is actually out today for the Hafter Hawks. He hurt his back during the last game. Coach tells me he's okay. He just wants to rest him for this game. Simon's so a great player. He was a starter. He just he joined the team, I believe, this year. Very good player. He was filling. Uh, you know, they lost a lot when Corn Bloom left last year. Simon's so was filling in for some of that slack. But you know, they were going to be without him this game. They're going to have to rely on people like Rokos and Jedwab, who's been shut down today by Popsky. Right. Um, Steinmetz also uh, having a very productive game last uh, in their previous game today versus uh, versus SAR. Um, scoring five points, four rebounds, and uh, three assists. So a good all-around game for him. That's definitely a contribution that they're missing. We're seeing a lot of young faces on the floor right now. We got Avi, we got a couple freshmen, Avi Halpert, and, and um, actually only one freshman. We got Halpert, we got Joel Shagian, Max Wittner, Zev Reamer, and, uh, and Lizzie Mermel seeing back in. Here's Jedwab, gets it to Rakos. Rakos pulls it from three, rebounded by Reamer. 
Reamer takes it down himself. Guarded by Appel here, Reamer goes fast paced down court, all the way to the lane. Reamer, lay in, no good. Rebounded by Salem. Salem's gonna take it down himself too. Salem, driving to the rim, out to Rakoz. Rakoz pulls up for another three, can't connect on that one. Salem with the offensive board. Great job there by him. Jed Wobbs got it now. Jed Wobbs looks to get it to Appel, gets it to him. Appel, heavily guarded by Avi Halper, looking for some space here, can't find it, gets it to Oliner. Oliner drives in, Oliner, to be fouled on that play. On number 10, looks like. Uh, Julia Shagan on that foul. And Olinger is going to go to line to shoot, too. Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, Shell Havit did end up giving up a foul there. For their defense on most of that possession was just really great. Um, shutting down opposing players, not letting them, al not allowing them to drive into the paint, forcing them to pass it out. Um, and they can't really, they haven't really been able to get such a uh, great shot so far. Yeah, completely agree, Jacob. Olinger's at the line now. Ryan Coleman going to stick with the same lineup. But a nice rebound there by Wintner. 16 to five now, one to two on that one. Yeah, I've really been impressed by Wintner's ability on the board so far. You know, he's not the tallest guy, uh, but he's really able to uh, box out really well. And a bad pass by Reamer will lead to a turnover for the Charlotte Firehawks as Jedwab drives to the lane. Can't connect on that, can't connect on that one. Uh, here comes Joel Shagan, the Shagan drives up, no good. Reamer put the put back. Air balls rebounded by Olener. Olener's gonna take it down. Olener gets it to Jedwab. Jedwab gonna slow it down a bit here. And for someone finds Appel. Appel calls a play. Again, heavily guarded by Avi Halper. Almost gets it stolen, but he gets it back. Now to Olener. Olener looking for someone, finds it back to Appel. Appel, the three ball. Now it's gonna fall out of bounds, she'll have a ball. Yeah, really great contest right there by Wintner. Uh, able to get out there and get his hand up, making it really difficult on the uh, after shooter. And Eliezer Lazary will check back in the game. Max Wintner will check out. For, if I'm Shava right now, I'm just fococusing on defense right now. You know, there are a lot of lethal shooters on uh, Hafter Hawks. Just got to focus on that defense and keep them at bay. They have a nice lead here. They're going to try to keep it that way, obviously. All right, here comes Avi Halpert. Halpert gets it to Ashagian. Ashagian guarded by Appel. Now to Mermelstein. Mermelstein back to Ashagian. Ashagian now to Halpert. Halpert takes a three. He's being knocked down on that play. It's going to be foul on number 15, Ethan Olener. Yeah, Olener right there got off his feet on the contest. Uh, Halpert pumped fake and uh, was able to easily draw that foul right there. Great job by, Hal by Halpert. Really uh, can't emphasize enough uh, his poise so far. Here's Mermelstein. Mermelstein pulls up for another three. Rebound, Rokos. Yeah, it was a nice shot right there. Wide open. Mermelstein just couldn't connect. Good so shot selection. Salem, jumper. No good. Reamer's going to get the rebound. Reamer all the way down court to, to Mermelstein. Mermelstein drives in, looking for a shot, not looking for someone, finds Halpert. Halpert, a Shagan, Shagan the wide open three ball, puts it in! You know, Shagan's brother Jeremy, who graduated last year, also very lethal on the three pointers. Clearly, it, it runs in the family. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right there, excellent ball movement. Able, able to get a Shagan wide open three right there. Jedwab got it now, it to Appel. Momentarily, Jacob Benesha will be checking in. Now back to Jedwab. Jedwab guarded by Mermelstein. Jedwab now to Rokos. Rokos drives in. Rokos layup, puts it in. Nice floater there. Here's yeah, really Reamer. nice shot. Able to get into the paint there, which Hafter really hasn't been able to do all game. We'll see if they can uh, try to get more into the. Halpert's going to put up a shot. Fouled on the play. He'll go to the line to shoot too. Yeah, Halpert uh, playing aggressively, trying to get into the paint um, and uh, kicking it out for open shots. Yeah, Halpert's one of those players, you know, not huge in size compared to the other guys, but he's extremely physical. Jacob Ben Ezra and Jacob Poski about to check into the game momentarily. See what spark they can bring. Yeah. Halpert, first free throw is up. First free throw is good. Absolutely great shooter. Avi Halpert, you can't say enough about his shooting skills. As Uzi, sophomore Uzi Mermelstein is going to check out in the game. Mermelstein, a transfer from Valley Tora. He's been very useful so far, as we saw throughout these past few games. 20 to 7. She'll have at least five minutes remaining in the first half. As, Merm as uh, Halpert's going to hit a second free throw. Shot very efficiently so far in this game. Completely agree. I mean, he has a great shot. He does. Here's Appel now. Jordan Appel with the ball, guarded by Shagan. Now Pofsky gets it to Rokos. Rokos on Benezra. Rokos looking for someone to foul on the play. Looks like an offensive. Looks like a pushing, uh, blocking foul there. It's going to be shot high ball. You know, when you're down by 14 points, you're on a, uh, Jacob, that's the last thing you need. Absolutely. I think it's just really a testament to Shell Havit's defense right there that they were able to um, force uh, Hafter to have to make a play like that. Pofsky pulls up from three. Can't connect, rebounded by Rokos. Rokos gets it to Appel. Appel on the fast break. 
Chappelle going down the court. Looking for someone, finds Jedwab. Jedwab, back to Appel. Appel pulls up for the three ball. And it's gonna be foul on Lazary over the back and it's gonna be a half uh, shot of ball. Actually not, it was foul on Salem, my mistake. Right, um, right there, yeah, loose ball foul. Um, just trying to go over the back. I right, hear we got Halper coming down the court. 4.25 remaining in the first half. Shove it up 21 to 7. Uh, screen will lead to uh, pass to Shagian. Shagian out of Ben Ezra. Ben Ezra swings it to Palski. Palski, another three. Rebounded by Ben Ezra. Great offensive board there. Gets it back to Palski. Palski I, I, tries again. Can't connect there. Another offensive board by Ben Ezra. Great, great physicality by him. But Popsky will go into the lane. Can't find success around the perimeter. So he gets the ball, goes into the lane, and gets an easy lay-in. Yeah, some really great trust right there uh, from teammate Ben Ezra uh, to uh, Popsky. Right there, while he did miss two threes, still got it back to him, uh, and Popsky was able to get in uh, for the layup. I'm going to say a little pass it to Jedwab. Jedwab, lay-in, puts it up, puts it in. He's been limited today, but a great... Great little play he drew up there right now. Yeah, very athletic move right there. Uh, able to get into the paint um, and uh, fake the shot and then get out for the layup. popsy has got it now. Popsky's going to take it a little bit slower. Gets it to Halpert. Halpert, double team, but now it's just going to be a pell on him. Popsky, as ball, pulls it from three. That's not going to count. It's going to go the other way. Yeah, it's an offensive foul right there. That seems okay. it's, it was on uh, a shaky in right there. Yeah. Garrison Cranberg going to check into the game. For Eliezer Lazarus, he's going to check out. They're going to go with the small ball lineup here against the Hafter Hawks. Yeah, Garrison starting the game, but not playing quite as many minutes as the other starters. Yeah. For those of you who missed it, Schindler is now in for the Hafter Hawks. Zach Schindler. And now Salem's got it now. Swings it to Rokos. Rokos down to Appel. Appel guarded by Shagan. The crowd getting Schindler. loud over here. Here's Jedwab. Jedwab drives in yet again. Stolen by Ben Ezra. Ben Ezra going fast paced on court. Ben Ezra, the dunk, gets it! That's his third dunk! Yeah, Ben Ezra, uh, really famed for his uh, dunk last year against the Ramaz Rams, uh, but able to pull off three already in only two games this year. He's really improved on his vertical and is able to throw down the hammer consistently. Jedwab pulls her from the lay-in. Reek gets his own board, though. Stolen by Ben Ezra. Ben Ezra, uh, Popsky. Popsky pulls up from three. That one's going to go in and out as, Jed, as Roko's going to get the rebound. Poski just not able to hit these threes. Uh, it seems like he's very in rhythm, and his shot looks good. He just can't get it going. Jedwa pulls up again, driving to the lane, but again it's stolen. Salem will get it, though, and what a, what a physical play by Ben Ezra. Here's Joel Ashagian. Joel gets the lay-in. Missed it, rebounded by Avi Halpert. Avi Halpert will pass it to Joel. Yeah, Joel pulling it back out, looking for more of a... Uh, approach right here. Um, not as aggressive as they have been uh, on some of these fast breaks. Uh, here's Halper now. Under two minutes to go in this uh, first half. Halper's going to slow it down a bit. Halper now to Popsky. Popsky's going to try to drive in. Now to Garrison. Garrison fakes a three. Drives in. Out to Shagian. To Shagian. Three ball. That falls short. Rebounded by Halper. Popsky now. Another three attempt. And that's going to go out of bounds. Popsky's yeah, been very cold from the, from the perimeter. He's really been ice cold right here. Um, yeah, just on that dunk, really, uh, you know, last year the crowd absolutely went wild. Uh, and, you know, as announced, we went wild. Um, but uh, as you can see right here, you know, it's starting to get a little bit more commonplace uh, for Ben Ezra to be yeah, it, uh, getting these dunks. It's, it's nuts to me that, that after a dunk, you know, it becomes such a common thing for him that, you know, the crowd doesn't even as go, go as wild anymore. And he's not Very incredibly tall. It's really just a matter of athleticism and uh, working on his vertical. That's going to lay in by Appel. Now to Reamer. Reamer's going to drive up the court. Reamer's got it now. Going to swing it to Garrison. Garrison gets it to Ben Ezra. Ben Ezra now to Halpert. Halpert to Moranian. Run to Reamer. Reamer three ball puts it in. Nopowski was cold. Gets it to Reamer. Now he's able to get something going around the perimeter. Reamer just been incredible this entire uh, game. Uh, just been able, you know, he hasn't really taken any bad shots. He's passed the ball when he needed to, and he's taken his open shots, and that's really been uh, one of the factors of success for Shahab Atopo. He gets another board. You know, Jacob, you're right. There's a reason he was top underclassman of the year last year. As Reamer drives in, out to Moranian, Moranian, Halpert. Halpert, three ball, falls short, rebounded by Salem. Yeah, we see the foul over there on Kratenberg. Um, still only uh, five fouls on Shahab uh, so they will not be going to the line yet. Salem, a very interesting player. You know, a, for a big guy, he's actually a very versatile shooter. He can shoot all around the floor. We saw it against 
We saw it against SAR. And uh, yeah, we're, not, we're not seeing as much today, though. Right. Um, Salem has, however, uh, you know, he's a very fast player and been able to get them out in the fast break. They haven't quite been able to uh, capitalize on that yet. Here's Appel, 28 to 11. Charlotte Firehawks lead. Now Rokos. Rokos guarded by Ben Ezra. Salem's got now passes back to Rokos. Rokos tries a shot, is fouled on that play. Might have looked like a jump ball over there, but uh, definitely, you know, still really great effort from the Firehawks uh, right here, playing very, very aggressively on defense, which has uh, allowed them to shut down the uh, Hafter Hawks so far, holding them to only 11 points um, through uh, all but 24.3 seconds of yeah. the half. A fantastic job by the Shava defense. Here's Rokos now to Oliner. Oliner guarded by Reamer. Screen from, ha from Appel. Reamer falls to the ground. Here's Appel. Appel, Rokos, Rokos, three ball. Rebounded by Moranian. Josh Moranian is going to take it up himself. Ten seconds remaining. And now gets it to Reamer for the final shot. Let's see. Jacob, who do you think is going to take this one? Who's going to take this final shot? I think it has to be Reamer. I agree. Here's Reamer. Finds Garrison. Garrison, the buzzer beater. In and out. And he had the frustration of the crowd on that one. Yeah, definitely, though, as we've been talking about, Reamer isn't always uh, the type to play hero ball and just take that shot right there. Passes up to a wide open Freightenberg. I think that's really a testament to his skill level. So great first half, to, uh, Jacob. Great first half. After Hawks being very, very, they're being limited by the shot at Firehawks. People like Avi Rokos, people like Jed Welp have just not made an impact that they should be making. Yeah, I can't emphasize enough uh, the defense that shall have it's been playing. However, um, the Hafter Hawks really just not being able to get in any sort of a flow here. Uh, they're just kind of passing the ball around. Ton of stagnation. Um, I'd like to see them set some more picks, uh, try to get some more movement on the uh, off of the ball, um, and not just have uh, players just swing the ball around the perimeter. Yeah, I agree. Uh, all right, we're going hit, uh, to head to a commercial for a little bit, but we will be back. Uh, please stay with us. I'm excited to play. I'm excited to get on the floor and show everybody what we got because we worked hard. Uh, I'm excited for the crowd, big energy from the crowd. I'm excited to yell, I'm excited to scream, I'm excited to dap up, high five people in the crowd. And personal goal, get a better dunk than last year. Yeah. 
of our soul. The Cleeper is fighting, we know. We raging a war, we won't let him go. Even if the world don't turn, the fire will burn. The H Tammy, a core on some sacrifice. Yeah, put H on me, we clapping loud, screaming loud. We're gonna take the crown, bring it back straight to the king. Then we bow, my hoop complete. Yep. Pick up a mitts for lay down the hate. All I'm about, all I'm about say. The feeling is great when we can say, Praise our shit, his now name is great. Like the shine upon your crown Yeah, we're up so high in the midnight sky And we'll never come back down Welcome back to Hafter Hawks versus Shahabat Firehawks. Shahabat up 28 to 11. Jacob, what can you tell me about what's going on in the game? What are well, your thoughts? We've really just seen some overall incredible play by Shahabat. Not only just in the conventional offense, but all around on the floor with passing and especially in defense in transition. Uh, one player I'd like to highlight so far is Jacob Ben Ezra, uh, captain of the team, uh, who while he's only scored two points, he's also uh, managed to uh, get five rebounds, uh, three assists, uh, no, sorry, pardon me, four assists, uh, three blocks, and one steal. Really impressive overall game from him. He's really been the heart of this team so far. Um, just able to contribute all over the floor uh, in ways that you know you don't always see. However, we did see those three blocks, which I, I, I don't know if you agree, but I think those were really uh, the highlight of the tournament so far. Two consecutive blocks, just absolutely uh, throwing the crowd wild, uh, and you know, really, uh, igniting this offense. Look, dude, you just can't say enough about the versatility of, of Jacob Ben Ezra. Look, on off, if you look at his stat line, just off and all, on just his point line, you're, you wouldn't be impressed. But look at what he's doing all across the court. Those back-to-back -back blocks, the dunk, the steals. Just an amazing overall player. Yeah, and also a highlight on Zev Reamer, uh, who we've seen really been the best offensive player so far in this tournament. Um, he scored nine points in the first half on a very efficient shooting. Um, he was, uh, and he really, uh, something I like to highlight about him is that he passes the ball uh, in situations where uh, he can't, doesn't have a good shot. Yeah, I think Pofsky and Reamer comment Ben Ezra very well. Absolutely. Here's Reamer now, guarded by Rokos. It's just started the third quarter here. Reamer's going to drive for the lay-in, rebound Ben uh, Lazari. Lazari. Lazari puts it back up, can't connect. Ben Ezra, another offensive board there. We're seeing his impact all across the floor. Reamer pulls up from three. Going to be fouled on the play. And looks like he'll go to the line to shoot three shots. Yes, fouled on that three. Got a nice wide open shot. We have seen a few issues so far with Hafter closing out on shooters. They've jumped a lot, uh, which has allowed um, Shell Havoc players to either get by or uh, go up for the foul. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You know, like we were saying earlier, you know, we, we get, you have the Firehawks, you got Reamer and Pofsky on those uh, perimeter shots and driving as Reamer puts up his first free throw, puts it in, and then for Ben Ezra all across the floor. So, as we said earlier, come in each other very well. Three overall stars. Absolutely. Uh, Coach Ryan Coleman, uh, who's you know, notoriously critical of his team, which, uh, ap which leads to uh, excellent success for the Firehawks, um, was critical of um, his team's offensive effort uh, last game and their effort all across the game. I thought in this game they've played a lot better all around. Um, really incredible lockdown defensively. Um, and we'll see you know, if they can improve more um, on their already excellent effort in the second half. Yeah, you can't say enough about Coach Coleman, one of the best in the business. Almost stolen there, but Appel will get it back. Appel down low to Salem. Salem heavily guarded by Lazary. 
Looks for Olener, gets him. Now to Jedwab. Jedwab guarded by Pofsky yet again. Now to Olener. Rokos, Rokos fakes it. Out to Appel, Appel drives in. Olener, Salem, Salem pulls up for the three. No good, rebounded by Reamer. Reamer's gonna take it down and gets it to Benezra. Benezra, now to Garrison. Kreinberg pulls up. Rebounded by Salem. Salem's gonna take it down. Still a big guy, but like we said before, very versatile. He can go up for the lay-in. It's gonna be an offensive foul. Great job there by Reamer. Yeah, really getting his feet set right there. Uh, not allowing Salem, who's just a really big guy coming down the floor, um, to be able to get up for the uh, for get up and get the uh, foul there. Um, and he gets the offensive foul. Here comes Reamer with the ball. He can give it to Ben Ezra. Ezra back to Reamer. Reamer drives in out to Posky. It's going to fall out of bounds, but it's going to be off the Hafter Hawks. So it will be a shot of a Firehawk ball. Yeah, something I've noticed about Hafter is they're getting a lot of um, threes, but just really not having any success. They haven't hit a single three so far this game. And that's one of the main factors why they're just not being able um, to get uh, any sense of, any, um, sense of lead or uh, momentum. Benezer can't connect on the perimeter shot there. It's going to fall out of bounds. Yeah, I definitely, I think that Coleman has done a very good job of setting up a defensive scheme in which that they're sort of blocking the perimeter most of the time, which is where uh, the Hafter Hawks usually thrive, uh, but not today, obviously. So they're they've been forced to go into the paint a lot, which has led Jedwab to go two for 10 from the field. Yeah, it's definitely looked very awkward um, in terms of Hafter's offense. Here's Let's see if they can change that up. Now Jedwab. Jedwab stolen by Benezra. Benezra, another fast break. Gonna slow it down a bit, gets to Popsky. Popsky fakes a three. He's got the ball now guarded by Salem. Now Kreidenberg. Reamer, Reamer pulls up for a th long three in and out, rebounded by Eliezer Lazary. He fights for that ball, gets it. Now goes in for the lay in the shock type of move. Great job by Lazary. Yeah, getting the board over there. Um, there were he had two half your players trying to get the ball from him, but he, was he wouldn't allow them, and he went up uh, for the strong take for and the layup. Definitely uh, one of Lazary's best plays so far. Salem tries to drive in. He trips up and is fouled on the play. By number two, looks like Reamer. Actually, sorry, 11. That's a foul on Eliezer Lazary. As Wiener is going to check into the game for the Hafter Hawks. Jedwab's got it now. Going to get to Salem. Salem now to Appel. Appel guarded by Reamer. Looking for some space here. Tries to cross him up. It's not going to work. But goes to Jedwab. Jedwab. Trying to drive in. Out to uh, Olener. Olener drives in. Olener lay in. Great job by him drawing that foul. He'll go to the line to shoot too. Uh, we haven't seen a large impact on Olener today, but he was very good. He, he played very well in the last game against the SCR uh, Sting. But, you know, this is going to take a full team effort to try to get back into this game as he hits the first free throw for the first points uh, for the Hafter Hawks in this half. So I think someone watching this game, um, you know, probably assuming that Hafter is really not that great of a team, but um, watching their previous game against SAR, I really don't think that's true. They uh, showed a, some really excellent shot making in that game, uh, but I think really what's been the key so far here is Ryan Coleman um, and the, uh, the Shell Havoc Firehawks' attention to uh, to uh, forcing them to not be able to get perimeter shots on the defensive end, um, which is why we're seeing this lopsided score, really taking them out of their comfort zone offensively. Reamer down low. Reamer fouled on the play. They go to the line again. It's a hard foul right there. Reamer uh, falling to the floor. It looks like he's okay though. Yeah, seen that a lot too. A lot over, over Glover tournaments. A lot of players, you know, getting physical and falling to the floor, but getting up. Yeah, as we see Reamer at the line, something he's, he's excelled at all game and uh, also in the previous game as well. Reamer hits that first free throw, 33 to 13. That'll extend the lead to 20. Second free throw by Reamer is up. Second free throw by Reamer is no good. Rebounded by Salem. Salem gets it to Olener. Olener looking for someone, almost got trapped there, but gets Appel. Appel, the lay in, the reverse layup. He's going to be fouled on that play. Yeah, it didn't look like much of a foul. Jacob Ben Ezra um, looking like he does not agree with that. Uh, but yeah, um, they will call a foul, and Appel will be heading to the free throw line. Appel will go to the line to shoot too. We haven't seen a lot of substitutes this half, Jacob, have we, from either team? So. No, not at all. Um, already playing uh, a, a lot of minutes in the book. Um, haven't really seen 
um, either team go for it much. I think a lot of it's due, especially on Shahavit's end, um, due to them just being in rhythm defensively, um, and not and Coach Coleman not wanting them to get out of that. And uh, on Hafter's part, really just you know wanting to keep their best players in the game, trying to hope yeah. for a comeback here. You know they got great chemistry right now. Azrimer tries for the lay layup. He's going to be fouled in replacement. We're going to line for two. Yeah, Reamer just playing excellently, uh, trying to get into the paint over here. He really, they have, uh, the Hafter Hawks have not really been able to stop him here. Um, and he's gone to the free throw line consistently or gone up for the easy layup. Yeah, that's great for Reamer because he's a fantastic free throw shooter. Let's see what he can do here to extend that lead. Shot is up, shot is good. 444 remaining in the third quarter. Yeah, Zef Reamer really stepping into a huge role this season. Uh, last year, the Shalhavit Firehawks. Last year, the Shalhavit Firehawks were anchored by uh, their core of Zach Muller, Noah Rossi, Joel Shagian, uh, and others. This year, however, um, they have lost all those players due to them graduating, um, which has uh, forced um, some of these players into a bigger role. However, it seems they're very comfortable with it. Here comes Wiener. Wiener with the ball. Now to Jedwab. Jedwab down low to Salem. Salem layup good. Yeah, great fundamentals under the rim by Salem there as he rushes back on defense. Really a fast guy for his size. Rebounded by Salem there. Now to Jedwab. Jedwab going down the court. Passes out to Oliner. Oliner. Stolen by Popsky. Stolen again by Jedwab. Now Salem. Salem pulls up for the jumper. Puts it in. Again, Salem. Fantastic shooter. We haven't seen him a lot this game, but over the tournament, I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of him. Yeah, looking at the Hafter Hawks, Definitely trying to get Salem involved more. He's been their best source of uh, points and scoring so far this game. There's Popsky now. We haven't seen Popsky a lot this half. He gets it to Kreinberg, back to Popsky. Popsky drives in. Out to Ben Ezra. Ben Ezra down low to Garrison, but it's stolen by Olener. Olener going down the court. Olener, Appel. Appel pulls it for the three. Rebounded by Popsky. Popsky going to take it down himself here. Gets it to Kreinberg. Kreinberg has open floor. Puts up a bank shot and puts it in. The crowd Kreinberg's going wild for Kreinberg uh, scoring his first points of the game. Really impressive for him. Uh, uh, a senior who has not start, who has not played much uh, for the past in the Firehawks, uh, but really getting a bigger role this season and getting yes. a starting spot. Salem pulls up for the layup. No good. Rebounded by Eliezer Lazary. Lazary to Garrison. Now uh, Ben has got the ball. He's going to get down to Reamer. Reamer's going to drive in. Reamer, layup, fouled again, and he will go to the line to shoot another two free throws. Now, something you saw right there is Reamer um, getting the ball uh, for a semi-open shot from three and pump faking. Now, if he had been cold, uh, as if he had been as more of a cold shooter as he has been in the past, per, uh, possibly the defender uh, would stay in on him. But since he's made a few threes this game, uh, he sees a much bigger threat there and that allowed the defender to get off of their feet and allowed uh, Reamer to get into the paint where he can get up for the foul. We got a new player checking in for the Hafter Hawks. Jamie Berger will be checking in at center. And Salem checking out now. Salem uh, played up and down the floor, really put in a lot of effort, explains why he's tired. All right, uh, Josh Wiener's gonna take it up. Now that Olener, Olener pulls it for the three. No good, rebounded by Garrison. Kreinberg gets it to Popsky. Popsky down low to Ben Ezra. Ben Ezra goes for the layup. I think the fans wanted to dunk on that one, Jacob, but he'll settle for the layup. All right, here comes Appel. Appel, uh, it's gonna be knocked out of bound. On the floor now, we got some substitutions for the first time this half. 22, Uzi Mermelstein is coming in. 15, Max Whitner, and 35, um, Avi Hopper are coming in as Ben Ezra, Reamer, and Lazar are gonna check out. Coleman high-fiving them on the bench here. Yeah, we talked about a lot of the players playing heavy minutes so far this game. Uh, right here, we see a lot of the younger players checking in. Uh, they've all played really well so far this game, and I don't think uh, Coach Ryan Coleman is worried about them giving up a big lead. Popsky pulls up for the first three of the half and gets it in. He was cold earlier today, but clearly not a problem now. Yeah, you know what they say, uh, you know, shooters got to shoot. Um, and we saw right there, Popsky, uh, number five, uh, <laughs> going up for the three there. Even there's 15, Olener driving in. Looks like there's gonna be a foul Not on the play. Uh, it's gonna be Hafter Hawks ball, now down 44 to 70, and their chance of a comeback becoming less and less likely as the time goes by. Uh, 33, Avi Rokos, and 34, Schindler. Zach Schindler will be coming into the game, and a timeout will be called. 
Now, uh, so far in this third quarter, we really just have not seen uh, the Hafter Hawks improve much on offense, only scoring six points. Uh, Tuchel have it 16. It's just been more of the same as we saw in the first half. Um, you know, if you're uh, looking from a perspective of the Hafter Hawks, really must be disappointed with the effort that they've given so far uh, in the second half. There haven't really been that many players that have been able to get anything going. Salem has gotten a few shots, but overall as an offense, they've still had that stagnation. Yeah, I mean, Coach Comer was telling me earlier that this is a tough team to play against, so we had to write up some defensive schemes, and clearly it's working, Jacob. I mean, people like Jedwa, people like uh, people like Rokos have been completely shut down. Jedwa went two for ten in the first half. You, you saw him going to, going to the lane many times for those for those layups, and just couldn't get it to connect. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Hafter has had the uh, uh, dominant a lot of uh, possession so far. Um, they just haven't really been able to get their shots going, and you know, some of, they're taking a lot of semi-contested shots, uh, which is not always the best idea for uh, a team like them. Mm -hmm. You know, the ball movement has been solid on the after side of things. You know, they're passing around, they're getting some nice possessions. The, the shots just aren't falling. Yeah, absolutely. In the back really here, Rokos misses it, rebounded by Povsky. Povsky all the way down court to Helper. Helper, the lay-in blocked by 34. Zach Schindler, great effort by him. Yeah, something you really want to see from the Hafter side, uh, just putting in a lot of effort uh, defensively, running back on uh, defense and stopping the fast break, and that would be easy layup. Here's uh, Mermelcy. Mermelcy will get to Kreinberg. Kreinberg drives in, little floater there, rebounded by Jedwab. Jedwab is going to take it down the court himself and to slow it down a bit. they got to get some shots falling here if they want to come back. Jedwab, Olener, now Rokos. Rokos, cross-country pass back to Jedwab. Jedwab trying to pull up, gets it back down to low to Zach Schindler. Has a travel called on Zach Schindler. Yeah, shoveled his feet right down there. Uh, just really, uh, right there, yeah, it was a good look trying to get it down to Schindler in the post, uh, but couldn't get it up. And Jack Rezin will be checking into the game for the first time as Garrison Cranberg is checking out. Here's Halpert. Halpert, heavily guarded by Appel and um, looks like Jedwab. Now here's Pofsky. Pofsky now back to Halper, now back to Pofsky. Pofsky fakes a three, goes in for the lay-in, stolen by Rokos. Rokos now to Appel, Appel, the layup. Rebound by Olener, Olener puts it back up, he'll be fouled, he'll go to the line to shoot too. Yeah, nice job by Olener, uh, also running on tra in transition. A lot of times if you see another player trying to get out there, um, you'll just uh, hold back, but right there, um, as you saw the miss, and uh, Oliver was a Olener was able to get uh, the rebound and put it back up and get uh, fouled there. You know, going into the tournament, Jacob, I had a chance to talk to Jacob and Ezra, he was telling me, um, after losing so many key seniors, like, uh, Zach Muller, Asher Dower, who was fantastic last year, co-MVP with Zach Muller. Mm. Uh, after losing so many seniors, a lot of people were doubting how the Shava, play, the Shava team would play this year, but so far they've been fantastic. Yesterday, they had a great game against Ramaz, and today they're doing fantastic. It's a very dangerous uh, after Hawks team. Yeah, I think one of the big reasons of that is just the identity uh, that Coach Ryan Coleman uh, enforces and uh, presents on this team, which is really that of like a strong defensive team uh, that doesn't allow too many uh, easy points uh, and plays really uh, as a team on offense, not just uh, with hero, hero ball, uh, but passing it around a lot and getting open shots. Here's and that's something that's really carried on uh, from last season and season before that into this season. After a miss from Posky, Jedwab will get the rebound. Now on the fast break, Appel is coming down. Appel drives in, blocked, and it's going to be re gets stolen by uh, Avi Halpert. Avi Halpert's going to take it down now. Avi Halpert pulls up from three. Can't connect, rebounded by Wittner. Wittner, the wide open layup, no good. Rebounded by Povsky. Povsky puts it back up again, another miss. Posky going to take it back out. Seven seconds remaining. He's going to look for the last shot. Here comes Posky. Posky, three ball. Air balls rebounded, and looks like Olner's going to shoot a full court shot. Yeah, we'll go into the second row of the stands. Yeah, Pofsky looking for a foul right there. Didn't get it. Uh, but an excellent third quarter uh, for the Shahavit Firehawks. Another one on top of the great first half that they had. Uh, and for the Hafter Hawks, um, at the end right there, we saw a little bit better playing uh, uh, with more effort, uh, especially defensively. But they just really haven't been able to get anything going offensively, have they, Nick? Yeah, I mean, look. We've we talked about this a lot, Jacob, but the fact is that Coleman has just completely has created a defensive scheme that is just completely shut down. People like Matthew Jedwab and Avi Rokos and all those guys. I mean, I, I definitely think the loss of Steinmetz this game, Jacob Steinmetz, is great. You know, I mean, like it, 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 it's 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 a big loss uh, for the Hafter Hawks. You know, I'm not I'm not saying that with him they'd be uh, they'd be winning this small game, but they'd definitely be a lot closer. 
Yeah, Hafner Hawks, um, who have won their first game um, in both the tournament, and they also won uh, one in their uh, in their uh, in the Yeshiva League uh, back in New York. Um, they look like they have a lot of potential, and they could be a lot better in this tournament. Uh, but right now, just not having a good game. Yeah. I mean, look, I, I, I still believe the Hafter Hawks, very lethal team, can definitely go very far in this tournament. They're playing against a tough shot of the matchup, but still, fantastic job by Hafter Hawks earlier today. And still, you know, there's a lot of potential on that team and a lot of room for improvement also. Yeah, looking into the fourth quarter, um, already uh, shall have it up 26 points. Uh, I think we're, we're going to be looking for a lot more uh, getting players in who don't as much, who don't get as much uh, playing time, able to get them into game time situations. Um, as you saw the crowd chanting there for Yurin Amzalog, senior, uh, who has not played so far, um, and he's not on the floor right now, but expect for him to possibly check in later. Uh, a lot of the crowd uh, seems a lot bigger and louder this year, partially due to the new bleachers, were in, which were installed uh, behind uh, the basket. Um, as you can see, a lot of fans down there. All right, we got number five down low. Gets it to number 24 on the Hafter Hawks. That was gonna be, that's Ethan Shalian, who's going to get the lay-in. Looks like the subs are coming in for the Hafter Hawks. Here's Joel Ashagian. Ashagian. The garden. It's stolen by number four. Wait, wait. And number four is going to go to the line. He's going to line after missing that layup, but gets fouled on that play. That was Benjamin Whit Whitkiss. Yeah. Um, while we're seeing, you know, a lot of these players, which don't really commonly play together that much, um, they're, you know, a lot less uh, defensively in tune. Uh, everyone on the floor, uh, due to their, you know, lack of chemistry. However, right there, we've seen um, some great play so far by Hafter starting off this uh, fourth quarter, um, getting two open layups, and right there, uh, getting a steal and getting on the fast break and getting foul. Another, the second two for those are good. By number four, Wickes on uh, Hafter Hawks. Here comes Hopper with the ball. Now to Resin. Resin's going to take it down. Gets it to a Shagan, fakes a three, pulls up for the jumper. Can't connect, rebounded by Mermelstein. Mermelstein, now to Halper, back to Resin. Resin, gets to Halper. Halper's gonna slow it down a bit, or try to take some time off the clock here. Yeah, look for that to be something she'll have it's doing in this uh, fourth quarter. We have a 22 point lead, no need to rush it. Definitely, completely agree, Jacob. Here's Halper. Halper again, taking his time, now back to Resin. Timeout called, 30 second timeout by the Shaba Firehawks. Yeah, Coleman, ever the perfectionist, um, did not seem happy with the way that play was going. Uh, called a timeout, looking to get something better. He's really, uh, you know, talking about uh, Coach Ryan Coleman's uh, defense, uh, his entire scheme. He's never uh, content with uh, someone's effort, even if his team is up 22 points. Uh, really wanting them to constantly play well um, and get good possessions and good shots, and that's really something which has been able to carry them to success uh, the past few years, uh, winning one Globerman um, and also winning uh, at Sarajev. You know, Jacob, if, if an outsider looked at this game, you, you'd probably think they'd say, you know, this is a near perfect game for Shell Heaven. But I'm almost positive Ryan Coleman's gonna read re his players out for at least a few things that they did wrong in this game. Absolutely, but that's just what uh, the players need, and that's just what's going to carry Shell Havit right, uh, farther in this tournament. So it's exactly what the players needed, and that's what's taken them to Sarachek last year, that made them win the last couple of years. And now here is Ashagian with the ball. You got a, numbers 10, Ashagian, pass it to 35, Halpert. Halpert, looking for some space here, going to be double teamed, but gives it down to Resin. Resin, a little jumper, puts it in for Resin's first point of the tournament, and the crowd goes wild. Crowd very happy for Resin. Uh, do doesn't get that much playing time, but a very active player, huge personality, and I'm sure a big presence in the locker room. Yeah. We got number five, now to Schindler. Schindler, double teamed here, gets to Wickes. Wickes, back to Schindler, almost loses it, but gets it back. He's trapped in the corner, but he's able to get it out to number 23, Oliner. That's Calvin Oliner. And Wickes almost was it, and it's stolen by Ashagian. Ashagian's gonna drive down. They fouled. That's uh, number 23. Calvin Oliner is now, on the, is now on the floor. Brother of Ethan Oliner. Oliner actually uh, in the in Charlotte's first game. Charlotte's first game as Mohair is going to come out to the court. As Irina Omslog, uh, number 20, gets out to the court. The crowd very happy. Yeah. Uh, really a great presence throughout in the school. Um, and, you know, very loved by everyone here. And Ola, as I was saying, Oliner, you know, in the first game, uh, you know, Hafter Hawks are 1-0 in their league. They beat the they beat Rombaum 72-32. to um, And mostly because Calvin Oliner, number 23, was a lead scorer with 22 points. We haven't seen a lot of him this tournament. He didn't play much last game either. But he's in now, so we'll see what he can do. 
All right, down low. Stolen by Shagan. Shagan's going to drive it down court. Shagan. Gets it to number 23. I'll have it. Back to Shagan. Shagan finds Yurin. Amzalag's on the bat now. You can tell the crowd going crazy once Amzalag got the ball. Here's Rezin. Rezin almost loses it. And it's going to be picked up by Schindler. Great, uh, great defensive effort by him. Yeah, Again, a lot Lucas. of these players really playing uh, with a lot of hustle here, looking. Uh, you know, these are some of the players that don't uh, get as many minutes um, in, you know, big time games. L playing with a lot of hustle here, uh, trying to show their coaches uh, that they, you know, are, they have, uh, you know, they play with hustle and they play with effort and heart and, um, and hoping for some more minutes. That was Berger down low, even though he's triple team, still able to push his way in there and get a layup. Here's Rezin now. Rezin pulls up for the long three. That's going to be off the mark. Rebounded by Shagan. Shagan blocked. By Berger. Shagan gets it back though. He's gonna get it to 23 on the shot of it. That's gonna fall short. Rebounded by Shillian. And Wickis is gonna take it down. Yeah, um, Wickis playing really well. Um, I, you know, I've seen a lot of gr uh, great play so far uh, by you know the end of this um, after bench. Um, uh, definitely uh, seeing them. You know, while while it might be uh, garbage time, they are. Um, Definitely uh, playing pretty well. Yeah, you know, they're, they're, still, they're still fighting. Here's Rezin, now to Shagan, to Shagan, the three. Can't connect, rebound by number 24, Shillian. Shalian. And here comes Wickis. Wickis, the jumper, puts it up. Can't connect, rebound by a Shagan. He's going to take it down court. A Shagan, the lay in. Double team, not going to connect on that one. It's going to be rebounded. Bye. Like he got fouled there, Joel Shagan did. Uh, but yeah, really great game from him so far. And here's uh, Olander pulls it from three, no good, rebounded by uh, Schindler. He's gonna be fouled on that play. And Josh Marani is gonna check into the game, and Ashigan's gonna check out. All right, it's going to be Burger's ball. Right, goes down to Schindler. Schindler's gonna miss that one. And looks like we're going to take it up. Shabbat's going to take it up. Now to Omslog. Omslog, Resin, Resin, another attempt. Can't connect. Rebounded by Schindler. Schindler gets it to Olener. Olener's going to drive down. And he's going to get it to Berger down low. Berger back to Olener. Olener looking for a shot here. Get it to uh, number four, Wickis. Now down to Berger. Now to it is Wickis, number four, the three. Can't connect. Rebounded by number 23. I'll have that. And it's going to be stolen by number four on after Wickes. And it's going to be almost stolen again. We'll see what he can do. Yeah, it's been a few steals for Wickes so far. Uh, he looks like a really good player. Maybe uh, should be getting some more minutes. Yeah, as we see right there, uh, got a turnover. Um, and she'll have it's going to be inbounding the ball again. Yeah, the entire oh. shall have a bench really cheering on uh, their players. Um, at, right now, uh, as you can see, Zev Reamer, Jacob Pofsky, all standing up, uh, root, rooting on their team. Uh, in, as we have uh, about three minutes left in this game, 46 to 26. And another steal there. A couple of great defensive plays by the Hafter Hawks. Two steals and two layups by both Wickes and Schindler. Here comes Amazola bringing down the ball, gives it to Moranian. Moranian now to Rezin. Rezin being heavily guarded. Tries to get it to Natanel Zur, but it's going to fall out of bounds. It'll be half their ball. Shovet leads by 18 with 2.44 remaining in this ball game. Wickis taking it down now, guarded by Moranian. Head down to Berger. Berger is going to be fouled on that play. Yeah, Zev Reamer uh, yelling some uh, instructions over uh, to the players on the court. Um, really just a great presence, uh, always paying attention to his coach, um, you know, and providing some, own, some coaching of himself on his own. Shalian's going to miss that one, but he'll be fouled. Jacob, you know, it looks like the Shalva Virus going to come away with this one, but what can Hafter Hawks do to improve? Yeah, I think something you can really work on um, is trying to get um, some more movement. And a lot of it does end up uh, accounting to uh, just you know, some missed open shots, um, which is you know, something that you can't really work on um, and can't account for. Uh, but something I'd focus uh, for them more is trying to be more aggressive on offense, um, especially against some tough defenses uh, like uh, the Shahabit Firehawks. 
Yeah, I can agree. Now Selam with the bar. Gets it to Amzog. Amzog for three. Puts it in and the crowd goes wild. Once again, Yurina Amzalog, uh, you know, showing he has ice in his veins with that cold-blooded three right there. All right, here comes Schindler with a nice reverse layup. Crowd is still hyped up 49 to 31. This game so is, looks to be put on ice. The here. loudest the crowd has been in a while yeah. uh, for Yurin right there. Great steal there by Berger. Gets to Olinger. Down low to Shillian. Shillian, easy layup. Great ball movement on that play. Here comes Amzalog taking up the ball. 145 remaining in the game. Gets it to Moranian. Almost is it back to Amzalog. Amzalog back to Moranian. Moranian's going to drive in. Gets it down low to Zer. Zer, easy layup, puts it in. And crowd again goes wild for Nathanael Zer. These players, you don't get a ton of playing time. Getting great, you're getting some points here, and the crowd loves it. Yeah, I, I, in my opinion, I think uh, Hafter has played a lot better um, in this fourth quarter here. Um, while, you know, the lead might not really reflect that, it's still down 18. Um, they've played with a lot of effort and uh, getting a lot of easier shots, um, as we saw right there. Uh, with number five uh, getting uh, the shot to go. Moranian drives down to the lane. It's going to be blocked by Berger. That's going to go out of bounds. Shot of its ball. What, just over a minute remaining. Just over a minute remaining. One minute, six seconds. Shot it up by 16. They're looking to go 2 and now here. As Kaufman, number 21, will be checking into the game, and Schindler will check out. See what the Firehawks can do here. Gets to Omsalog. Omsalog to sell on. Blocked by Berger. His second block. Here goes Amzalog. Amzalog looking for some space here. Back to Selam. Selam to Moranian. Running back to Amzalog. Amzalog pulls up for another three. That's going to fall out of bounds. It'll be uh, after Hawk Ball. It's just under a minute remaining. Joseph Kaufman just checked into the game. Number 21. And number four, Wickes is going to take it up. Download a burger. Berger going to try to create some space down there. Pulls up a shot. No good. Rebounded by 24. Shillian. Shillian puts it up. Can't connect, rebounded by Rezin, who's going to give it to Moranian to take down. Yeah, might look for getting a last shot here, or they might just hold the ball out. Yeah, it seems like they're going to just hold the ball out here. Um, they no need uh, to go out for a play. Um, and looks like she'll have it. We'll be getting the victory here. Uh, a really well-played game for the Firehawks all, all over the floor. Uh, be that defending, uh, making shots, and also uh, their teamwork passing. And Zer puts up a layup, and that's good. As you see, that last shot right there, assisted by Irina Amsalog, really indicative of the type of, t of offense they've been playing so far. Uh, really just a, a really egalitarian offense, uh, trying to get it. Um, goes up with the court. fans, storm the court, as you can see. All storming Amsalog for his first points of government tournament. A little bit of a mosh pit here. Great game here by the Firehawks. I mean, after Hawks, still an amazing team. I think it was partly due to the fact, you know, they played only just a couple hours ago. They're about to be a little tired, whereas Shavit played last night. Uh, so I could have said, could have had something to do with it. Shavit goes 2-0 uh, in this tournament. And the, uh, the uh, after Hawks suffer their first loss of the season, still 1-1. One one. Um, we'll see how they fare when rankings come out uh, tomorrow. But yeah, great effort on both sides of the floor. Absolutely. For the Hafter Hawks, um, there are a lot of areas they can improve on. We've talked about that throughout the broadcast. Uh, and definitely looking for them uh, to put up a stronger effort. Um, some, uh, I, I, something one I'd like to highlight there throughout this game has been Zev, the play of Zev Reamer, who really seems like he's been taking charge as the leader uh, of the Firehawks team, scoring 16 points so far this game uh, and really playing an all-around great game. He also hit two of four threes, which is a big development. Seeing that he wasn't that great in, the, uh, in terms of three-point shooting in the first quarter. All right, we're going to sign off. Thanks so much for listening. Have a good one. Thank you.